know, this subject, I'm having other revelations over here, like, about other stuff. That I, okay. That Let me like, turn this so y'all can get her in there. It's just funny because... Talk hey, about it. How y'all doing? <laughs> uh, so, I had... Okay, so I had a few revelations. So, one thing that I've been noticing at this job is that I told you that there's a lot of uh, feminists. I think we only got one guy in there. Okay. His name is Jimmy because uh, with his training class, he said that he was having technical issues, so they switched him over to our class so he can still, like, be, uh, get a little more training before, you know, he was to go out there. Right. And, uh, you know, the call thing. And... Apologize for the interruption. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so make sure you're okay. Now nah, that you just came out of nowhere. That it's just like I told you, I'll be going through this where my tongue will do some weird shit, like it'll cut off my windpipe. I don't know how to describe it. It's like thing. my shit be like. And then a spit come down. Yeah. Like you try to breathe. And yeah. Like, some weird shit. Like the brain just cut like off for a moment. Shit like <laughs> yeah. That's some crazy shit. Like, yeah. That's totally exactly what it. happened. Totally get it. So sorry guys. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, mom will be dealing with her <laughs> issues. So go ahead. <laughs> and so, <laughs> uh, okay, well, let me, actually, let me backtrack. Okay. And give the backstory, you guys, of why we're doing this read right now. Okay. So, I started this job, uh, what was that, July 5th? So, everything's been going fine. I haven't missed a day of training and anything like that. Um, and everything's everything been good. I found out that it was a woman-owned, so she pretty much predominantly, for what is it, I guess it just was my class, but it just seemed like, you know, it was mostly women that was hired. But I guess you do have male uh, associates in there too, which is good. Right, so, right, 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 right. For the most part, uh, I've been, you know, with females in my class. And this is the point. It, it'll come back up. You'll see why, why it's coming up. I'm mm. talking to the people, not you. But, you know, we know how we, Jim and I birds, we know how we flip fly because we bring it all around. You right, know what I'm saying? Right, right, It's right. like a jambalaya. We put all the ingredients in the bowl and we mix it up. You'll see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, you know, we got to be on camera. So, every time I'm on camera, you know, I'm always looking at myself like, okay, I don't want to keep seeing myself looking like, like, my mm. humbug and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't right. want what I'm going through in the circumstances of my home or like, you know, my mental to show on my face and for me to keep that same energy. Like, no, like if I'm in a different mental environment, so to speak, because we, you know, through a training class on the computer. So just let, as if, as if you was actually at the workplace or anything like that, you want to give that persona of, I don't want to bring what I'm already feeling into my work. So, then, right. you know, say, let me change. The mindset, you know, the exactly. face, you know. Get the positivity. Yeah, it's exactly. If you need to put on some different clothes. Don't keep wearing black. Put on the color or something. It might liven up, you know, the energy or something. Right. Like, turn on the lights in the room. It don't necessarily have to be dark. Like, you know, I'm putting these things in my mindset to keep keep my longevity. So it's yeah. going. Yeah. So, sometimes when I'm noticing that people is on camera, they either talk extra goddamn by humbug. Or they look at extra by humble. Right. <laughs> Some people just be making me laugh because they just be at home. So it's just like, okay, what? Like, I'm at work. Like, what? And I'm stick it up on top of the head. But it be funny. It really do be funny because it's like, they just so jovial with it. They just like, okay, y'all, what's up? Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's just the one girl's probably just having like a hair day. She's just like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't mind, you know, because shit, we, we comfortable. Like, what? You know what I'm saying? It's not like that. It was just funny, though. So, I noticed this started to be an issue because one thing that my mom always told me is like, you know, I don't uh, assert my voice 
like I need to, right? Right. And so, it's this one girl in my <coughs> class that her voice is like, girl, you getting on my nerves. I thought I'd be sitting here talking extra light. But now I realize that now you might have you might have been talking, but it wasn't as light as she be talking. Right. She be talking <coughs> like goddamn. She just woke up and she don't necessarily just want like fully like engaged. You know, yeah. She be like, yeah. So um, you know, so I was like, I, I didn't know this was a new thing because I'm like, I was so mad when I got put in the group with her. Cause I'm like, why, 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 I, why? Mm -hmm. And I thought it was just a phase. Like I thought it was just that day that she was just doing it. Maybe she's just tired. You know, she already wanna. No, she does this all the time. Right. So what is it about her that irritates you? That voice thing. Cause I'm like, this oh. can't, this can't be the same thing my mom could say. Well, you, you know definitely do do that, huh? right? But uh, but the way that she do it, it's like, girl, okay, come on now. Like, do you ever get mad or some shit? Like you can't. Well, well you're saying it. This is what I'm saying, but you don't see it. Because you're the person calling the company, but I'm sitting here and you're calling the company and asking them a question, and you're like, "Hi, um, I was just calling to find out what's y'all hours." Right. And I'm like, "Why are you talking like that?" <laughs> right. And I mean, I'm trying to get you to understand that you're part of your divine feminine power as a woman is your voice. Yeah. So what you are realizing is that through her irritating you with her personality of being so mild and meek, it was letting you see an aspect of your being, which is what I'm saying. Yes. An archetype can also <clears throat> come off as somebody that you just like despise, like, oh, what the fuck? And then when you realize how when you look at that person with such a deep found like appreciative like you appreciate how the divine healed you from that issue right. and how the divine is using opportunities to show you about those issues within yourself mm -hmm. then that empathy okay so this is what makes you not a malignant narcissist right. because your aggravation and your perceived being judgmental that's the way the world look at it. But how the mm -hmm. fuck do you learn if you don't judge something? You don't right. call a thing a thing. <laughs> or you don't say what you what it make you feel like and all that. So, anywho, when you call it out in another person, you can realize if you've healed it or not in yourself. Yes. So if you do the baby voice, like we were in the we were like so let's flip the script and give another example of what she's talking about for me to pull it together for her to see. Right. When we left to go to bingo, when I was able to get out of here. And I don't know how the hell I made it because as soon as I got to bingo, I just collapsed in a chair. Um, and we were in the car there and I was like, damn, I forgot they food be, you know, very expensive. And sometimes, well, lately it ain't been good. Right. So I don't want to spend no damn $15 on no fucking major, uh, uh, I mean, on, on a big ass platter of nachos to share with someone and two drinks and all of that. And it's like $25 and it was like cold ass meat, salty cold meat. A cold cheese and horrible tortilla chips like whatever so we're gonna go to to dairy queen so i told you to call them and see what time does bingo actually start because i believe it was sunday and i know that the regular days is 7 30 i know that okay but on sunday i wasn't quite clear because there have been times we got over there on the sunday and they already didn't start like what damn time do y'all start Anywho, you called them, and the girl had like a little baby voice too. It was a female who answered, and she was like, "Oh, we." Uh, the way you asked the question was like open ended. That she could have just just jumped around and said anything to answer your question. And so I'm looking at you. I said, "Ask her what time does bingo actually start?" And you were like, "You kind of got an attitude like I don't know what this is. I'm saying, mom." So the girl was like, I could hear her just rumbling. I'm like, the conversation should be over. I said, what time do bingo start? And he was right. like, okay, yes, ma'am. Well, can you tell me exactly what time bingo start? Oh, it starts at um, 530. And it's like four-ish. So I was like, okay, we got time to sit over there and eat. Then call another Uber to take us back. I said, um, girl, I'm hungry. And, uh, yeah, uh, I don't want to eat that goddamn food. So if I feel like I really need to like eat something that's going to be pleasurable in this moment, right. then I need to go do that 
fuck that. We'll just come at the second session. So a lot of times when I would tell you like communicate if you don't understand what I'm telling you to ask the people. Right. If you know that my brain my brain be like just traveling like I'd be like what? What time is it? Who? Where I'm at? Who are you? What's going on? You said that's what started this whole thing. Yes. What what I would do is communicate and be like oh shit I'm, I'm, I don't feel right. Uh, What's today? Okay. You just told me that. I know you. What you said today was again. Let yourself go through those motions. Don't feel like I, I, I'm just not gonna say anything. I feel right. like I'll sound like an idiot. No, you're gonna be looking idiotic if I wasn't with you. And let's say you were with a girlfriend, a female friend, or whomever, and y'all went out to bingo on a Sunday, and y'all get there and they're like almost done with the games, and you're like, what the fuck? Like they start bingo at seven thirty, and they're like, no, no, no. On Sundays we actually start at five thirty. And y'all getting there at 6.45. And you like, what the fuck? So bingo basically over. Ain't this about a bitch? Like, I was really trying to come and play bingo. Ugh. I don't fucking understand. And then you would be getting <laughs> mad. But it was a time previous right. that you didn't have this mindset to say, hey, I don't want to cause myself to make a blank trip. So we may need to detour and go somewhere else, um, you know, do something else instead of doing this because it's Sunday and they're going to be closed or we could choose a different bingo hall, right. which would mean, you know, the only other one. Yeah. And if you already made up your mind, I'm not going to Big Tex or H-Town Bingo. I'm not going there. So then you're like, okay, bingo's out and you're not upset. And this is something I had to learn myself. To take out the time to do extra things that would cause my day to not be annoyed in any way, shape, or form. Right. So, with that being said, once you actually communicate with yourself, like you and you need to be having a dialogue. Your rising sign is Gemini. So, I don't know when the hell you're going to step into that. Right. So, your your sign, your, your, your twin that just gets annoyed with people's voices and slowness and baby acting ways and whatever the fuck your twin was, what was annoyed looking at her. But then when you start understanding that you have an archetype of somebody that's mean, evil spirited, fuck you, I don't give a fuck, it's all about me, 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 then you'll understand how to see that all around you and it doesn't overcome you. Mm -hmm. When you see people that are being more slower, they take longer to speak and you're like, oh my God, yeah. look what time it is. You remember, where was there a time when I used to be like that? Right. Scared to speak. Cause like In other words, identify what could be actually her issue with behaving that way. Yeah. And then you're like, oh my God, that's me because I'm a little shy. And, the, and and to people that might be looking or might listen to this video, do understand that I'm saying that in a way of saying that like, it's, it's, it's a funny revelation because this is something that my mama talked to me about all exactly. the time. Exactly. Like, you know, being in that baby voice. And it's like, it's, it's it was crazy because she... And and the reason why I'm bringing this part is because she I heard over her talking to one of the uh, roommates <clears> and she said that she has four kids. So I'm like, how you got four, four kids, kids and how you, you be talking to them? I mean, literally, like when she talk, it literally like your volume is at a two, and my volume is at fourteen because I can't have it no louder than that because you're gonna be blasting in my ear. So right, if your voice and you talking, you sound like I'm turning my volume all the way down. What is wrong with your voice? So like, do you notice that the other people are like, I can't hear you. Could you speak up? Is other people saying this to her? No. Like, like what I'm saying is like the way that she talks, it sounds like she at a level two. Like, it, it's that goddamn baby is low. Like, but I'm saying, how is it that you're the only one detecting it? Well, because everybody else ain't finna call it out like that. I, I'm not just gonna... No, be if she's speaking, if they said, okay, um, let's just say her name is... Well, no, um, Amy, and they say, Amy, it's, you know, it's, go ahead. No, and then it's, she's, it's loud enough where you'll hear her, but it's like the day that she was in a group with us, it's basically like one of those situations where you and a you you already had a group that you was you was getting good with, like everybody get along. Okay, you know, say you was a guy. Like I just realized this that's just her, that's just thing she do. But it's actually funny though, because she she do it in such a way. That you could get offended, but it's like you right though. 
I get what you're saying. It's funny that you said it like that. You know, like, mm-hmm. and so I, I overlooked that. So, so now that we got a group with each other, we were talking. It's, like, it's okay. not that you're overlooking it. You're accepting it as that's one of her archetypes. Yes. One of her personality faces. Yes. And I'm saying, like, you you can still hear her. Like, if One of the faces less, of her personalities. My bad. <laughs> Go ahead. You, you can still hear her. But it's like, I don't know, was it just this day particularly? I was, I was just so annoyed because I'm like, girl, you're, the way that you're talking is you. like, goddamn. Case closed. That's exactly what right? I've been telling her that she does. So, so that's then, a lot of times examples have to show up to right. really irritate really chap our fucking high. I was like, okay, spirit, I, I get it. I okay, get we got to, did y'all see that jump out? <laughs> did y'all see that car jump out? So now we're going to tap into the cow. The Kyle Gray Angel Press and see what they have to say to her about feeling, you know, so disconnected in this kind of a funk, okay? Right. So let's see. Because that's why I say when she keeps tapping in, she'll realize that the universe never stopped talking to us. The, 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 the spiritual always is working simultaneously with what we see in the physical. Right. So the first card is speak your truth. <laughs> Archangel Gabriel, which is a feminine archangel. Okay, I don't know why they be making all the archangels masculine. Like hey, I've studied this and, and I was like, wait, so they're the archangels, they're feminine too? Like, wait, what? Archangel Gabriel, speak your truth. Thank you, Gabriel, for helping me to speak with integrity. So when you when I speak in such a way, I apologize, you know, I didn't mean to just upset you like i'm not upset i'm speaking with authority over the bullshit that you're trying to serve me right now what and once we once this is handled i'm gonna go back to singing and singing in the rain and everything else okay so that's what we got and we're gonna have this to file right up under this orphan speak your truth to this man aka roger davis of how you truly have felt that he chose to try to continue to keep you as you were an orphan child. That's what spirit is telling you. Things are going to line up in your life for you to do just that. Right. All right. Now, athlete. Let's see what angel is going up on the athlete. Mm-hmm. 